Hello, so now in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit an assignment and how to turn in that assignment as well. Um, so we're back in the Google Drive suite and we're going to use Google Apps, Google Classroom. That'll take us through to the page with our child's class on. We'll click on that. And we're not concerning ourselves with the stream this, uh, for this part. We're looking at our classwork again. Now, last lesson, uh, last video, sorry, we talked about um, these gray buttons here. Uh, as the material and how to edit those files and how to um, complete the self-assessment quizzes. If you have a green one with a little clipboard on it, that's called an assignment. And now an assignment means that we've got something that wants we want the children to submit um, so that we can mark it and we can have a look through and we can um, give feedback on it. So in the assignment itself, you can see all the information they've got here. Um, Miss Gwynn is doing a, an input at 11 o'clock on a live lesson, but if you can't access it, she's put a PowerPoint up there. There's also some other videos to choose from. The task itself is to write a letter as a monk or to write a diary entry or a poem. Um, and as it's a creative written piece, it's why we want to be able to mark it and be able to see it. So what we can do, if you have access to Microsoft Office at home, you're able to uh, do it outside of the Google suite in your, on your computer. Your child could write it up on there and then simply add file. And it's a case of finding the work on your computer and just dragging it across. And what that will do is then upload to here and you can press turn in and then that's that work submitted and the teachers are able to see it and edit it and uh, give children feedback on it. If you don't have access to Microsoft Office on your computer, Google Suite has got its own version built in. Uh, so Docs is like Word, Slides is like PowerPoint, Sheets is like Excel. And if we wanted to do a writing piece, we'd access Docs, creating a new one and it'll open in a new tab. And I can start writing my work just here. And as soon as I've finished my work and I've got to the very end and I'm happy with it and I've read through it, I can then automatically just turn it in. And what you'll find here is it pops up. You'll see uh, the document you created has appeared up here. And all we need to do is do one attachment submitted. And it tells us that, that will, where it says year, year test three, that'll be your child's name, creative curriculum, and we press turn in, and that's that work submitted. Um, if you your child is handwriting their work and you want to photograph it, um, what you will then need to do is upload that photo to your child's Google Drive. Now, you'd need to do this through a smartphone app. Uh, if you're using an iPhone, for example, the iPhone has a notes app. And inside notes, you can scan documents. And once you scan the document, if you download the Google Drive app, you'll then be able to upload your photo to your child's Google Drive, and then it will be a case of clicking here. And it will appear in the recent section, and what you'll then be able to do is upload that. Um, you'll be able to attach that document from the Google Drive onto your child's work. So let's assume it was this one, and we basically select it and click Insert, and it will appear up there and we turn it in that way. Uh, what you can also do is if you want to uh, comment on that work, if your child has found it particularly difficult or did think they did really well or want to let you know anything, they can add a private comment here. And private being the operative word, it's only the teacher that sees it. It's not published to the whole class. So uh, I found this work really good fun and would like to know more about... Um, And then that gets submitted to the teacher and we can we can respond to that and it's all private as well. Um, other than that, that is how all work needs to be submitted on Google Classroom, either the uh, silver, but either the um, material buttons, the grey buttons where the work will be self marked and then submitted with a, um, a self assessment like these ones or um, an assignment like that one where we'd like something actually physically set in. Um, we will be releasing a, a Microsoft Forms, which will be basically um, an FAQ. So if you've got any questions about what I've been through or I haven't covered anything that you'd like me to um, to add on, uh, please make sure that you do fill in a, a frequently asked questions and I'll see if it's something that we get a lot of and then I'll be able to make another video telling you everybody how to do that. I hope that's been helpful and I really look forward to using this suite and, and the success it's going to bring. Thank you very much.